In one of the worst hit areas, grief turns into anger. Protesters in Paiporta chanting murderers, slinging mud at Spain's king and queen as they survey the damage. It was known and nobody did anything to avoid it, he says to the king. The fury growing as the worst natural disaster the region of Valencia has seen in decades. The death toll, more than 200 and counting. Dozens still unaccounted for. Thousands still without electricity. Demonstrations playing out as the public questions why help didn't come faster and why they weren't warned sooner. An alert urging residents to leave home on Tuesday was only sent after floodwaters started surging. We need to give people hope and ensure the state is there for them, said King Felipe. We understand their anger and frustration. A year's worth of rain fell in less than eight hours. Water gushed down rivers, picked up cars, destroying bridges and highways. El principal objetivo es... The main objective now is to save lives and to recover the bodies, said Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez. In addition to several thousand soldiers and police already on the ground, the government deploying 10,000 more to help with rescue efforts alongside volunteers, something this Canadian living in the area saw firsthand. What's really been outstanding is the the generosity of Spanish people themselves and how, you know, thousands and thousands of people lined up uh, and walked across the bridges, walked that walk that I did uh, the other day, uh, bringing food, water. The river in this town, now a muddy channel. You feel like crying, he says, but at the same time you have to say, keep your head up, you can get through this. While the waters have now receded, rebuilding will take months. Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto.